<laughs> if you keep it to yourself, nobody will know you're a fool. But if you get it on the internet, then the whole world knows it. So you know. Anyway, that's freedom. There's nothing wrong with freedom. But that's why Socrates said, eventually, uh, democracy will fail. Democracy will fail because you give power, equal power, to, fall of, to fallacy as to you do to truth. So the downside of Western society, which I think is the downside of Western society, is you've given equal power to falsehood. The power that should go to truth, believability and credence, etc., uh, you've now given to falsehood. So if you give falsehood equal value with, you know, and the, the, the slogan is fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. If you give me a five, I'll give you a change. Fair and balanced. Let's say I'll give you three bucks. How's that? <laughs> That's fair and balanced. It's balanced, isn't it? You <laughs> fair and balanced is I should be able to just do and say anything I want. That's called really libertar libertarianism, you know, see, and uh, anarchy. So anarchy, then, is what's taken over the communication system. And uh, the way I see it, I don't think the government can actually allow uh, freedom to, of the press to continue in the present vein. Why? Because the Internet has now become the backbone of the economy, is it not? The backbone of the international economy is the Internet. So if you allow that which is false to take over and dominate the Internet, then you're going to destroy one of the most important components to modern commerce and trade and economic survival, which is being run by the Internet. So if <laughs> it's like saying, well, the Wall Street Journal, we can allow them to publish anything they want about the value of a stock. <laughs> Doesn't have to be constrained by truth. They can just say anything they want. This company is worth, you can make up any figures you want. <laughs> that would destroy the stock market, would it not? So we don't allow that freedom of choice to be in certain areas of our life, but we allow it to be in, in areas that are more important. And that is our spiritual conviction and alignment. To be kind to all that exists. So. It then behooves us to be kind to those who have chosen what we view as a destructive uh, direction of life and one which has a negative impact on society and youth, you see, because every day's, every day's uh, news is the example of freedom. Every one of those people is free to get drunk and get intoxicated and get into drugs and kill themselves and get in the car and drive your children in a drunken, intoxicated state. And the question is how the judges allow that all that to be. I have my own understanding of why that is, which I won't share. 